production for Panther Sports Talk is brought to you in part by Johnson's Automotive Service is a proud supporter of Panther Sports on WEIU. Johnson's is a complete car facility for all your automotive repair and maintenance needs. Johnson's Automotive Service, keeping your life running. Welcome to a holiday edition of Panther Sports Talk, a special edition. We're joined by EIU quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. Last night, we're just getting back from Philadelphia. Congratulations, the winner of the Walter Payton Award. And that kind of just really becomes a, a capstone on your career. I know there's some, some things, team accomplishments that you guys are disappointed you fell short on, but from an individual standpoint, at the FCS level, there's not a better award that a person can win. Yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't tell you how, how happy I am to win the award. I mean, it's just a huge accomplishment, and it really goes to all the, show all the hard work that our team put in this year. I mean, it's not – I know it's an individual award, but I couldn't have won the award without all of my teammates helping me in the off season, during the season, and everything. And, you know, it really just goes to show how, how much hard work we've put into the season. Now, it was the first time any of us had been to that type of a ceremony before, and you, you got to meet some interesting people last <laughs> night, to, to say the least. Um, Jerry Rice, everybody knows that name, but also I think one of the guys that, that probably meant a lot to you and your family growing up in the Chicago area is Jarrett Payton, the son of Walter Payton. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was excited to meet him, but my parents were really excited to meet him. And they're, they're huge Walter Payton fans, so they, they were with him with the Super Bowl run and everything. So them meet, getting to meet Jarrett was real exciting for them. Uh, you know, he, he's from, our, I, don't, I don't think he's from Arlington Heights, but he went to high school in Arlington Heights, where I'm from. So that was exciting, a little connection there. And, so it was, just, it was fun to share some stories with him, hear some stories about his dad and everything. And I mean, he's a, he's a great guy. Now, you move forward, you look back, and we, we kind of talked during the year, and you got a lot of these questions from the media that the records that you had set, not only in, at EIU, but in, in the OVC, and then some that you chased at the FCS level. I mean, it's a couple days after the season's over. Have it, has any of it sunk in yet, or is that still something that you'll digest over, really over time? Uh, I think it's going to take a couple of days at least. I mean, I'm still just coming back down to earth from this Walter Payton Award. I mean, it was, it was a real ex exciting experience and a unique experience that I got to experience this weekend. And, I mean, I'm, I'm so thrilled still and, you know, still a little sleep deprived too on top of that. But, you know, I'm still just excited from the award right now. Now, a lot of people have asked kind of what's the, the next step in the process for you. And I guess kind of take us through that. A lot of people don't. No, they just they know the season's over, and uh, to a casual football fan, the draft is in late April, May. But yeah. there's a lot of work still to be done for you and any other um, young man that wants to pursue the NFL. Oh yeah, I mean, well, first off, I'll I'll have to pick an agent. That's the that's the first step in all of this. And you know, my parents have done a great job this whole season of dealing with all the agents and leaving it to me at the very end to make a decision. I mean, that, they've taken so many distractions away from me. It's it's unbelievable and. So after I pick an agent, then it'll, it'll go to, they have a plan for me. It's already set up that they have a calendar already set up for me and everything. So I'll just go on that. And then I got the East-West Shrine game coming up in uh, early January. I'll go to that for a week. And then it's pretty much just straight training for the combine after that. Then hopefully get an invite to the combine, perform well there. And then it's just on, on with everything else, the pro days and all that stuff. So football doesn't end, and it, it continues to go on for you. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, it's a 365 thing for me, yeah. Now now that uh, your Eastern career has come to, to a close, um, one memory that kind of stands out, uh, I mean, through a career, and, and it's a four-year career, I know yeah. it's hard to kind of <laughs> put it into to one or two things, but is there is there a moment or a game or something along the way that kind of stood out above the rest? I know you had a lot of great memories here at, at Eastern. Yeah, I... Uh, you know, one game that really will stick with me for the rest of my life is the San Diego State game. I mean, going down there this first game of the season this year and just the way we went about it, it was, it was a real business trip. I mean, we went down there and everyone, we all knew that we had a chance to beat these guys being an FBS team. I mean, a lot of people didn't give us a chance. And, you know, just I think that was a huge, huge stepping stone in our season this year. I know it was the first game of the season, but I think that really propelled us into the national spotlight this season. All right, then we're going to give you one more party shot since we filmed the show in Coach Baber's office here, uh, location. <laughs> Favorite Coach Baber's moment since you, he can't not not play you anymore now at your career's over. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Favorite one? I'm trying to think of a good one here. You know, his, his, <laughs> his halftime speech of the EKU game when I, 
I had some blood on my nose and he came in the lock, locker room and screaming at a couple of the guys and you know he, he really got fired up and that, that got the team going I think and it, it was an exciting speech and you know I, I really like those type of speeches the ones that get you going get get the chills on your skin and everything and you know, I, that was one of my favorite moments from him. Now the the last two guys that, that you'll be compared to their jerseys are crossed the way Sean Payton, Tony Romo. Opportunity is is around the corner now for you to be talked about with those guys, not only as great quarterbacks at Eastern Illinois, but also guys that, that may make an impact in the NFL. Is, has any of that reality sunk in yet, or is that still, I mean, still a little uh, bit of ways away? I mean, I, it's, it's been in the back of my mind. I can't, I can't lie. I've, I've thought about it a little bit. But, I mean, first first off, I have to just make it to the NFL first, make a team, get on a roster, a 53-man roster, and then everything from there, then it'll start to sink in a little more. But, I mean, until then, all this is still just a dream. I mean, you still got to put in the hard work this off season and get noticed by the right people in the NFL and perform well at the combine and pro day. And it's, it's a process, and there's just the beginning of it, but it's going to happen fast in these next couple months. All right, well, congratulations on a great career, Jimmy, and best of luck to you. I know everybody will be watching and, and keeping up with that and hopefully seeing you on, on Sundays in yeah. the fall. So that's going to wrap up this edition of Panther Sports Talk. The rest We're going to roll out the show with some of the highlights of the season, some of the post-game interviews and comments from the game against Towson and the FCS quarterfinal. Also some clips from Jimmy there at the Walter Payton Award. And we wish everybody a happy holiday season. Thanks for watching, everybody. From O'Brien Field in Charleston, welcome to the quarterfinal round of the NCAA Division I football playoffs, the Towson Tigers up against the Panthers of Eastern Illinois. Eastern comes in 12-1 and overall this year, 8-0 and in the Ohio Valley Conference, conference champions, ranked number two in the nation, seeded number two in the FCS playoffs. Fourth and five for Eastern at the 32 at Towson. Garoppolo back to pass, sets up, a lot of time over the middle, and a diving catch for Laura and a first down. Garoppolo in the gun, empty backfield. There's the snap. Jimmy is back over the middle. Cut by Drake at the 10, and he holds on for the first down. It'll be first down and close to goal to go. Three wide outs on the right. Empty backfield for Garoppolo, third down. Jimmy back in the pocket, going over the middle. Touchdown, Eric Laura back in the end zone. Panthers have taken the lead. Eric Laura with his 20th touchdown of the year, and that ties the school record for touchdowns in the season. There's the snap to West. He's going to run it to the left. Hit behind the line, and down he goes at the 33-yard line. Panthers Gristic was the first man there, the junior linebacker from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Second down, six to go for Eastern. Garoppolo back. Pump egg looking deep. Now still stands in, throwing a deep middle. Drake's got it, 15, down to the 12. Garoppolo held it for a long time and found Drake open right between the hash marks for a big game. Empty backfield, Garoppolo in the gun, back to pass, looking, a lot of time, now steps up, now surrounded, gets away, hit from behind, still going at the five, he's going to run it in, touchdown, Eastern Illinois, Jimmy Garoppolo escaped the prop, the pocket, and then made a couple guys miss, and ran it around the right end for the touchdown. Garoppolo showed some speed I didn't know he had there, Mike, as it looked like he was going to be brought down maybe from behind at about the five. And he just ran out of the grass for the would-be passer. Off that eye, fourth and two. Athens handing the west, heading left. Didn't make it. Panthers stop him at the nine-yard line. Good penetration by the guys in the blue shirt. And West couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Athens will hand it to Victor. Hit hard and dropped right at the line. Dino Fonte rocked his world as he came in from Victor's left. Out of the eye. Victor, the running back, they hand it to him over right guard. He crossed the 20, hopped through at the 15, down to the 10-yard line, fumbled the ball. Eastern recovers at the five-yard line. This is going to be close and may need a replay. The officials are saying Panther ball. Panthers on the fumble take over at their four-yard line. First and 10, they fake a pitch, throw a pass out on the right to Laura at the five, at the right side line, 10. He's at the 20, 25, cut back 30, 35. Laura still going all the way to the 40. Here we go, there's the snap, it's placed down, kick is blocked by Eastern. And that's how the first half will end. Somebody in the middle of the defensive line got their hands up and blocked the kick. We think it was Pat Wirt. Well, certainly uh, down by seven at halftime, it's much better than being down by 10. Here's the 
the approach by Kerr and the kick, and he hits it high and short to the near side. Jordan Love takes it at the 20. He's up to the 25. Beers right at the 30, and he's hit at the 33. Fumbles the ball, and the Panthers have recovered a turnover on the opening kickoff of the second half. Buffalo in the shotgun with Duncan on his right. Good snap. Hand off to Duncan, up the middle, squeeze through 10, 5, down to the one yard line, Taylor Duncan. First and goal, Eastern Illinois, he's inside the one. Well, the Panthers have come out here in the second half to turn them around the football, and they've been doing it effectively here in this first year. First and goal, quarterback sneak, Garoppolo pushes over, touchdown, Eastern Illinois. Jimmy Garoppolo with his second touchdown tonight, and now the Panthers can try to tie it up with the extra point. Down. There is a handoff. Duncan left side has a hole. 50, 45. Hurdles a man and goes to the 41. First down EIU. Second and four. Shepard Little gets the handoff. Breaks outside and across the 30. Trying to shake loose and is pulled down at the 29. Christian Carpenter brought him down. But that's another Eastern first down. With Cam Barra, the senior from St. Louis. Trying to pull Eastern closer. Good snap. Play down. Kick is up. Kick is good. So the Panthers draw closer with 6.20 to go in the third quarter. It's now Towson 28, Eastern Illinois 24. First down to Eastern at the 39 of Towson. They motion Duncan out to a wide receiver on the left. Garoppolo looks to pass. Now rolls out to his right. Sets up. Looking deep. Now he's going to launch it deep. Got a man wide open in the end zone. Touchdown! Jeff Lee Pack running wide open in the back right corner of the end zone. They lost Lee Pack somehow, and Garoppolo waited long enough to get him open and then threw about a 50 yard strike into the back corner. He's going to go for two here. They're down 35 to 30, so a two point conversion would get into within a field goal. Out of the shotgun, Garoppolo back, steps up, steps up, throws middle, Laura, got it! The two-point conversion is good on a sliding catch in the middle, about a yard into the end zone by Laura. Garoppolo really drilled that ball in there, and Laura made a nice catch. Fourth down, Garoppolo rolling right, looking, throwing to the sideline, Laura's got it in a first down at the 47-yard line, so they come through on a four-yard pickup on the pass to Laura. That's his 18th catch, and that ties the record for most catches in the next Five wideouts, three to the right, two to the left, on fourth and goal at the 10. Garoppolo, one step drop to Meyer, he's gonna throw a double pass. Meyer, now he's gonna run with it at the 10, he's at the five, going for the goal line, I think he got it, touchdown, Ryan Meyer, with a great second effort run for the touchdown, the freshman from Evergreen Park. Clock will run out on a snowy night at O'Brien Field, not uh, what the Panther fans had hoped for, but uh, he's gotta, uh, Kind of put this one behind you and uh, think about all the good times this season and what all this this team accomplished. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this has just been a, a season for the ages, and we've seen some individual performances, the like of which we'll never see again, probably. By and large, this has just been a remarkable year, and I hope that people can truly appreciate what they've seen. Final score tonight at O'Brien Field, Towson 49 and Eastern Illinois 39. I'm standing in front of the football team, and uh, I've been the head coach here since December of 2011. And I've never spoke to them after a loss at home. I, we have never played a home game and not sung the fight song. And uh, you know, it's pretty emotional in there. Uh, this team is dynamic. This team has done wonders from where they started Two and nine, two and nine, one and seven, worst to first, bounced out of the playoffs first, first game, and then coming back and running the table in the OVC FBS win over San Diego State, taking Northern Illinois down to the last drive, uh, getting their first playoff win versus Tennessee State, and then uh, you know obviously not winning this game against Townsend at home, but. You can't take away from what this football team's done. I just thought this was the team of destiny. I really did. And uh, hey, my hat goes off to Townsend, but something just told me that they were, this football team was going to go all the way. I just couldn't see it getting knocked off its feet. Uh, tried to keep it level-headed. Tried to keep them grounded. Uh, felt that they w went about their work the right way. Uh, just, you know, really hurting right now in front of the cameras that uh, we couldn't come out with a win.
Ball passed in underneath to Larson, blocked by Anderson. One dribble off in the corner, Austin, three-pointer, good, and he's fouled. He'll have a chance at a four-point play. Palombizio, backdoor cut to Orsova, good look there. Ring in 2014 with an Eastern Illinois Panther basketball doubleheader on WEIU. OBC play is underway for EIU as they welcome rival Moorhead State to Lance Arena. It's the Panthers and Eagles Saturday, January 4th on WEIU, your home for Panther basketball. I always tell myself, I've told myself this since a young age, that everything in life happens for a reason. And You know, coming to Eastern, it, the first couple of years, maybe it was, it was tough to see what the reason was. And it was two, two and nine seasons, I was like, dang, this is, this is tough. Like, this isn't, what I, this isn't what I expected college football to be like. But then Coach Babers came in with his new staff. Things got turned around real fast. And, you know, it was, there's a thrill in the air. There's an electric buzz going around town that, you know, I, I love it. I love the town of Charleston love the community and everything. I mean, I couldn't ask for a better situation. I'm, I'm real happy that I came to Eastern. In my mind, I think of myself as my own guy. I mean, I'm, I'm Jimmy Garoppolo. It's not like I'm the predecessor of Tony Romo or something like that or Sean Payton, but to be compared to them, it, it really is an honor. I mean, their jerseys are hanging up on the wall out there for a reason. It's not like they were just a couple of guys who came through here. I mean. They, they left their mark on Eastern, and you know, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to leave a legacy here that one day I could look back on and be proud of and maybe tell my kids, be like, yeah, I played, I was the quarterback at Eastern when we won the OBC championship, won the national championship and whatnot. So, you know, that's just the, I'm just trying to build my own legacy, the Jimmy Garoppolo legacy right now. And, you know, we're, we're on the right track this season. We just got to keep it going one game at a time. You know, the way I look at it is it, it, it'll be a stressor for you if you let it be. It's almost like pressure before the season. I remember saying we have all this pressure on us to finish first in the conference. See, we looked at it a little differently. We looked at it as, you know, it's pressure if you let it be pressure, but I mean, we're, we're gonna put more pressure on ourselves than anyone is anyway. So, I mean, it's, it's all depends how you look at it, I guess. I can remember as a freshman, I was sitting in my dorm room. I looked up all the career stats for quarterbacks at Eastern. And, you know, I wrote down all the, all the records in a little notebook and you know I just found it a couple weeks ago and I was looking through it and I was like well, I finally uh, made my mark here a little bit and, you know I just I, I want to keep building on this uh, season that we got going on I and mean, we got a good thing going for us first in OVC second in the nation and, you know if we just keep rolling with it and doing what we've been doing one game at a time one game at a time then we'll be in the right direction at the end of the season I mean it's either national championship or bust at this point First at 10, Garoppolo, he's going deep, got Gober behind the defense, got it at the 30, 20, DeAndre Gober on his way for the touchdown. Steps up, now he's going to throw it deep in the end zone, Drake got it, touchdown Eastern Illinois. There's the snap, here comes the blitz, Jimmy's going to throw it deep down the middle, Laura's out there, got it, and he's on his way, Garoppolo burns the blitz, touchdown Eastern Illinois. Here comes the blitz, Garoppolo's back, looking, throwing the bomb, got Drake out there, touchdown Eastern Illinois. He's gonna throw into the end zone, and touchdown, Eric Laura. I'm not sure how he got that through that window to get him. Looking deep, firing in the Laura, wide open, touchdown Eastern Illinois. Eric Laura in the back corner. They fake a handoff, Garoppolo gets the middle, break open the 30, 25, 20, handling right, 15, 10, five, touchdown, Adam Drake. Here's Garoppolo to throw, four man rush, pump fake, going the bomb, going for Laura, touchdown Eastern Illinois. There's the snap, Jimmy looking to go into the right side for Laura. 
Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. Looking, throwing the bomb. Going for Gober, back of the end zone. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. Gober in the back corner behind two defenders. Jimmy Garoppolo sets the record for Eastern Illinois and the Ohio Valley Conference with his 86th career touchdown pass. Signaling receivers to go downfield. He's going to throw into the end zone, and it is bobbling caught. Touchdown, Jeff Lee Pack. He hands off. Garoppolo sets up, locking it down the right sideline. Gober got it to the 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Now he's going to dodge a man. Throws, Hennessy throws deep right for Laura. Leaping grab at the goal line. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. Three wide outs left. Garoppolo back, looking to the left, going to fade in the corner. Laura, leaping catch, and touchdown, Eastern Illinois. First and 10 Panthers at the 18. Garoppolo back, a lot of time. Going to deep, got Drake out there, got it 40, 30. Adam Drake going all the way. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. They blitz Garoppolo. He's back. Steps up. He's throwing the bomb. Got Gover out there. Got a 20. 15. Steps out of a tackle. It's a touchdown for Eastern Illinois. Garoppolo to Gover. 61 yards on the third play from scrimmage. Garoppolo up under center. They hand off. Back to pass. Steps up. Throwing the bomb up the right side. Gover back at the end zone. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. Gilbert in the back corner with the touchdown. And Garoppolo has just tied the Eastern record with his 34th touchdown pass this season. Jimmy back to pass. Pump fake. Throws it to the right. Wide open lead pack. 10, 5. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. There's the snap. Garoppolo back. Pump fake. Throwing the fade. Left corner. Laura's got it. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. A toe tap catch in the left corner of the end zone by Eric Laura. Garoppolo back, stands in the pocket, guns it deep middle, caught, touchdown. Eric Laura with the catch at the two yard line and goes in standing up. Back to pass, looking, throwing Laura left side and it is caught, I think. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. Shepard Little's back in the game for Eastern. Second and seven at the 10, toss to Little, heading to the right. He wants to throw a pass, throwing back to Garoppolo on the left sideline, and he caught it at the goal line. Touchdown, there's a penalty flag. Jimmy Garoppolo might have just caught his first touchdown pass. Little, the only running back. Garoppolo, two-step drop, throwing the fade, going for Drake, corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. That's just a teardrop right into the arms of Adam Drake between two defenders. Third and 11, Garoppolo back to pass, going to deep left sideline, got Adam Drake out there, got it, touchdown Eastern Illinois. Garoppolo back to pass, throwing the bomb to the goal line, caught by Lee Pack, touchdown Eastern Illinois, a leaping catch by six foot six. Jeff leaping Lee back. Garoppolo back, two step drop, throwing the fade, going for Drake, and he's got it, touchdown Eastern Illinois. Perfect throw by Garoppolo, lofted it high, and Drake ran under it in the back corner of the end zone for his second touchdown today. Second and long, Garoppolo back at his 45, throwing the bomb, left sideline, Lee Pack got it at the 25, breaks loose, penalty play, 20, 10, 5, touchdown Lee Pack. Third down, seven to go at the 35, Garoppolo back, firing deep, right sideline, going for Gober, and a diving catch at the three yard line. They fake it to him, Garoppolo back, sets up, going the bomb, right side, going for Laura, he's got it, 15, 10, 5, thrown out of bounds, inside the five. Shotgun snap, fake handoff, Jimmy back, firing the Slant, caught, touchdown, Eric Laura. 16 to nothing, Eastern Illinois. Third and goal, Garoppolo back. Bump bank in trouble, rolling to the right. Jimmy looking into the end zone, rolling out to the right, throws over the middle, touchdown. Jeff Lee Pack. Great job by Garoppolo to find Lee Pack while he was scrambling out of the pocket. Jimmy back, looking left, pump bank, going at left corner. Laura's got it, touchdown, Eastern Illinois. Not second, make it Drake. Adam Drake with the touchdown, he joins in the fun. Let's do it, Cody. Backfield for Garoppolo, third down. Jimmy back in the pocket, going over the middle. Touchdown, Eric Laura, back in the end zone. Panthers have taken the lead. Garoppolo back, pump fake, looking deep. Now still stands in, throwing a deep middle. Drake got it, 15, down to the 12. Garoppolo held it for a long time and found Drake open. Now steps up, now surrounded, gets away. Hit from behind, still going at the five. He's going to run it in. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. Jimmy Garoppolo escapes the, prop, the pocket and then made a cut. Couple guys miss. Garoppolo looks to pass. Now rolls out to his right. Steps up. Looking deep. Now he's going to launch it deep. He's got a man wide open in the end zone. Touchdown. Jeff Lee Pack running wide open in the back right corner of the end zone.
production for Panther Sports Talk is brought to you in part by Johnson's Automotive Service is a proud supporter of Panther Sports on WEIU. Johnson's is a complete car facility for all your automotive repair and maintenance needs. Johnson's Automotive Service, keeping your life running 